<clears throat> hey, good morning, folks. Um, I'm stuck in like standstill traffic over here, so I um, figured I'd do a brief video on the proper type of piping to use. Sounds exciting, right? Okay, we're talking about uh, uh, drain lines, not uh, not supply lines. Um, yeah, people don't use the proper piping. It's a problem because if you're not using the proper piping, uh, it could break, it could crack, um, and it could cost you a lot of money. So I'm gonna go through a few part, uh, types of piping. Let's start with the um, gray piping that you often see. Uh, polypropylene is what it's made from. That's a pretty standard pipe, a thin wall, very flexible. Um, flexibility is good if you want to like give it a quick uh, stressor, but for long time stress, it's gonna squash. What does that mean? Do not under any circumstances let your plumber put a gray pipe um, in the ground. It cannot go in the ground. You know, they're digging a trench in your yard to put piping into the sewer. Don't put gray pipe. Um, any uh, stressors to the ground will uh, will squash that. Roots will will deform it, and it will cost you a lot of money to fix that or replace that, especially if you're going under a patio or under your uh, subfloor, under your house. Its only use is inside of a house. Um, it's no longer allowed to be exposed to UV. Inside your house, in an exposed area. So let's say in your basement where it's exposed, um, in a garage where it's exposed. So interior application where you have access to it. It's not covered inside of a concrete or, or brick wall or in the ground. That's the gray piping polypropylene. Then we're gonna move over to our PVC piping. Okay, people often think that gray piping is PVC. That is not PVC, that is polypropylene. Orange pipe, okay, is PVC, polyvinyl chloride. Um, you're gonna have two types, SN4 and SN8. Typically using SN4, SN8 will be a st stronger pipe. Um, SN4 is pretty strong to begin with. Um, uh, as opposed to the gray pipe, you don't want to be smacking out with a hammer because it'll crack it. Um, it's not going to squash in your hand like a gray pipe will, um, and therefore it can take those those uh, those perpetual or what do you call them? They're those constant forces without deforming the pipe, um, but it can't take a, a random hit with a hammer and then bounce back. It'll just break. Um, so that's going to be used for your, that's also not allowed to be exposed to the sun. It will, the UV will make it brittle and crack easier. That is only for inside of the, uh, under the, in the dirt, basically in your yard. So the deeper you go, the stronger the pipe you want. So if you're going a meter down, um, you'll use the SN4, but if you're going three or four meters and you're having a lot of stressors on it, you're going to want to have like the SN8. So that's gonna that's not gonna get deformed very easily by roots. The roots will will go over it, but they're not gonna squash it. <clears throat> you want to make sure that's the only pipe that you're using um, inside the ground. Trust me, if you put gray pipe in, we do our video camera inspections all the time. You look at the gray the the orange pipe looking pretty good. Gray pipe getting squashed and causing problems. Um, also, side note, very interesting. I don't know the answer. If someone does, let me know. Rats live in the sewer system, and they love eating pipes. For some reason, uh, gray pipes are the ones that get nibbled and get holes chewed through them by rats. I haven't yet seen rats that eat through orange piping. Don't know what that is or why that happens, but that's the truth. <clears throat> Another good reason to use orange piping in the ground, they're not gray, so you don't get rats eating them. Um, <clears throat> then we're gonna move over to our also polypropylene, but this is gonna be like a three-layer polypropylene polypropylene meant for the UV um, there's two types <clears throat> well, there's a few types uh, it depends which company uh, I want to talk about Julio right now uh, they were the first to do it but now there's other companies that have been bringing in uh, Julio they bring a uh, ultra betone and ultra silent ultra betone is is for cement is for concrete use so if you want to put this pipe inside the concrete uh, it's polypropylene, but it's pretty resilient. You can't, you can't, you can't flex it like you can the gray stuff. But it's more forgiving than the uh, the iron stuff. Um, the one caveat is if you're using that for concrete use, 
the big problem with concrete is when you're pouring concrete over pipes, the um, the juices of the concrete get in the crevice of the where the gasket is sitting, where you're connecting the two pipes, and it will dry out the gasket. So over time, that gasket will dry out. Um, so over those fittings, there's an extra seal. I just, uh, this is the new, this is the new code. It has to be done. Um, if you see people putting these pipes in the um, bell and spigot, I think they're called in English, uh, inside of concrete and not putting those covers on. Um, some companies have like something you wrap it with and then zip ties. Other companies have this actual uh, plastic thing with gaskets that covers over it. Um, if you're not using that, big no-no. Make sure your installer is using those. Um, similar pipe, it's called Ultra Silent. Uh, is also, as I said, three-layer polypropylene. And this is, uh, if you're gonna use it in your house and you don't wanna hear your neighbor flushing all the time, so it's actually a lot quieter than the gray stuff. Um, you still can wrap it up with, uh, you know, uh, insulation material, but it, uh, it definitely muffles the, the sounds running through it. <laughs> and you can use it outside. This is, the, this is the pipe that you can use outside. It's a black pipe, and it could be exposed to UV. They have a special chemical they put inside um, that will withstand the, uh, the UV without damaging the pipe. So if you're putting a pipe outside in the in the light, in the sun, don't use the orange pipe, not the gray pipe, you want to use the black pipe. Um, another type of black pipe um, is HDPE, high density polyethylene. Here they call it Ghibarit because I guess they were like the first to bring it in here. Uh, they actually are the best. Uh, I wouldn't use other companies because I've seen it, that, that pipe fails a lot because of installer error and I've seen uh, pipe failures, fitting failures, due to uh, companies that don't uh, manufacture the fittings properly and it causes lots of damage. We actually have a team out in, um, in, a, in a luxury building fixing like four of these fittings that's causing so much damage. So definitely want to use a reputable company. Uh, so HDPE, <clears throat> I recommend not using it. Hard for me to say that. Years ago, I would never say something like that because I love HDPE. It's a good looking pipe. It's a resilient pipe. Um, but no one installs it properly. You gotta know how to install it. You can't just put one pipe in the other. There's there's so much uh, contraction and expansion um, that you have to use expansion joints. No one knows where to put these expansion joints. Every six meters, every floor, every turn, people don't do that. Anchors, they're not using the proper anchors. Uh, the butt welding, they're not paying attention to cooling time and they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not doing that properly. Um, the electrofusion, Electrofusion joints, where you put the, the coupling on, and then you and you put those wires inside and heat it up. People aren't scraping the pipe properly. People aren't putting the ethanol to clean it off. People just don't know what they're doing. And then you have lots of cases where they just the pipes ripping apart and, and leaking inside walls, outside walls, parking lots, in the ground. So I would use the pipe. Um, if I want to make sure roots aren't going to get inside and, uh, and I'll know how to do it properly. You have to, when you're doing it, when you're embedding it in concrete, you got to put a, uh, you got to put like, on, and let's say you're putting it in a concrete, uh, on, inside your house, under your subfloor. Okay. So now they're doing that in, in, in HDPE and I see so many, so many houses in my sewer inspection where there's a belly in there. That's terrible for kitchen lines. Why is there a belly in there? Because, and they all, sometimes there's a belly, sometimes it, it came apart. Basically, when you're throwing concrete, you gotta put a proper form. You gotta put a, a rebar, uh, do it properly, then put concrete, and then the concrete floor afterwards. If you're doing it together with the concrete floor, there's different ways to do it. Uh, in short, try to stay away from HDPE if you can. Um, oh, but where can HDPE be used? Oh, also pretty much anywhere you can put it outside as I said if you're putting it outside you gotta be careful because the expansion so you gotta use expansion joints uh, but that can be used outside that's great against the, the UV um, if you're using concrete if you build a concrete form around it properly um, in the dirt also you just got to be careful and if you're doing it uh, inside the dirt uh, oftentimes, also, like how the orange you said, there's an SN4, SN8. So, same thing, the SDR, uh, the different SDR uh, of the um, the ratio of the diameter to the wall thickness. There's different types of, uh, of that for HDPE. People are usually using the thin-walled one for the ground, 
It's also not good because uh, that gets squashed by uh, by roots. So I want to use a thicker one, but it costs four times as much. So they don't do that. Ah, that's it, right? Go through the list one more time. Gray pipe, polypropylene, interior use, uh, but exposed interior use. Uh, orange pipe, PVC, um, underground, not in concrete. Um, Three-layered polypropylene, the black one. Uh, that could be used for pretty much everything. There's types that go into concrete with the proper fitting over the uh, hubs. Um, and there's ultra silent that could be used pretty much for a lot of op more applications outside, inside. And um, then there's the HDPE. Have a good day, have a good day, have a good day. I hate this traffic. It's actually made my drive much better because I you generally go crazy and feel sorry for myself in this traffic here. This is nuts.